My name is Deputy Chief Rob Sherwin. That's S-H-E-R-W-I-N. I'm the Division Commander of the Crimes Against Persons Division. Um, this press conference is being held to uh, bring the public's awareness up on uh, a murder that occurred yesterday and a uh, arrest of two people for aggravated sexual assault of a child and sex trafficking of those ch children or that child. Um, first one we're going to talk about is Pace Setter, the murder we had. Um, this is Roman Wilkerson. He's a black male, 1017 of 1981. At about 2.44 p.m., uh, Lawrence and Montego Lice, I get their brothers, uh, were both shot by suspect Roman Wilkerson in um, the 3600 block of Paysetter Street. Uh, Lawrence and Montego uh, went to this location. It appears that uh, um, Mr. Wilkerson is a mechanic. And they were involved in a dispute over, uh, I believe it was Montego's car. Uh, when they arrived at uh, Mr. Wilkerson's home, um, Montego approached the garage area um, and was met at the opening of the garage by Mr. Wilkerson, who was armed with an unknown make uh, 380 pistol. He uh, fired the weapon and struck uh, Montego uh, lice in the uh, buttocks area and he fled. The suspect, Mr. Wilkerson, then went out to the vehicle where uh, Lawrence was sitting and fired multiple times into Mr. Uh, Lawrence Lice, and he was taken to Baylor Hospital where he later died. Um, we are seeking Mr. Wilkerson. We have video of the offense, and we have witnesses that can attest to uh, him committing the offense. Uh, the bond is $100,000, so we're asking that the public let us know where Mr. Wilkerson is so we can get him into custody. The second case is a child sex trafficking investigation. These are our two suspects that are in custody, Micah Rocio and Rafael Rodas. Um, this investigated, uh, investigation was initiated by the Dallas Police Department's High Risk Victims and Trafficking Squad and involved a female child victim who was 15 years of age. The victim and a witness were contacted by suspects Osario and Rodas on Facebook, lured to a meeting location, and eventually forced into acts of prostitution with at least six males per day at a location in Dallas. The offenses occurred between December 5th to December 19th, 2015. The victim and the witness were able to escape the location. The victim was later taken into custody on a runaway charge by Dallas police and was interviewed by medical professionals. The victim outcried to the sexual assault and we initiated an investigation. On January 28th, the Dallas Police Department arrested Rafael Antonio Rodas. He's a Hispanic male, 12896, in connection with the investigation related to this child sex trafficking. On, on yesterday, on January 29th, the second arrest was made of Mike Osorio related to the investigation. A search warrant was executed in the 400 block of North Patton in connection with this investigation. Evidence supporting the victim's statement of the sexual assault and the human trafficking was found at the location. Members of the Southwest Patrol Division's deployment and CRT squad, as well as the U.S. Marshal Service, assisted with the apprehension of these two men. Um, he, uh, let's see, Arresti Rodas has been charged with trafficking of persons, a child, felony one, compelling of a prostitution of a child, engaging in organized criminal activity, a second degree felony with a $35,000 bond on each one. That's a little over 100,000. Osario has been placed in loose stare for sexual assault of a child, second degree felony, trafficking persons of a child, first degree felony, compelling prostitution of a child, first degree felony and engaging in organized criminal activity with a $150,000 bond on each charge. We are concerned that there may be additional victims of these two out there, so we're asking the public to at least, if you know these men and you know anyone that they've come into contact, especially young girls, we'd like information on that so we can get them the help they need. And I'll take some questions. Is the witness in this case also a victim? She may be, but we haven't been able to get that, that evidence yet. We're just charging with what we got. Can you talk a little bit about the social media component? You know, it just seems like now it's so easy, right, to be able to lure people uh, via social media, and especially millennials, younger people, they're easily accessible online. 
we've, we've seen a, a rise in that. Um, I believe some media outlets have done some stories on that that we've helped with. Uh, I think from my standpoint, the police department standpoint, we believe that a lot of people see social media and they trust what people put in social media as who they really are. Um, and that's not necessarily true. Um, so you form some type of a bond with someone and you believe that that's who they are and um, that's not who they are. And, and, they, and predators obviously use that to lure people into them. And in this case, it was a child. Anything else? Thanks, guys. That's it.